welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video for you and it is of my L'Oreal private sale haul. So let me show you my bag of goodies. So as a veteran, you know to bring a reusable bag to carry your haul after. Um, otherwise I think you have to buy one of their reusable bags. So the first item that I got from the sale and it's like the first stuff you see when you enter is sunscreen. I got two kinds of sunscreen. They're both by Garnier Umbrella. Um, I got an SPF 45 complete in the lightweight lotion and then I got the SPF 60 sport in the, I don't know, I guess they just call this the sport like fat, water resistant one. And I think these will work well together because this one is usually when it, what I like to use for first application. And I typically only really use these when I'm on like vacation. And then this one will be good for reapplication, especially when you come out of the pool or out of the, um, what do you call it? The ocean. <laughs> Um, but now I'm thinking this is water resistant, so maybe I should wear this first and then pile on this later. I don't know. I'll have it figured out, but yes. Um, also a tip is to always check the expiration date of the sunscreens when you buy them at the, uh, at any warehouse sale, really, because this one, see, expires in September this year, so I have the summer to use it, which is fine because these things will empty out pretty quickly. But this one here is a pretty big bottle. It's 240 milliliters, and this one will expire in April 2018. So this will last me quite a long time. And if you want to stock up, try to find the ones with the longer expiration dates, right? The next couple items I'll show you will be hair care. Um, I just got a couple things, um, a lot of like conditioners and leave-in treatments. So let me see. I have these three items. These are all a sort of leave-in treatment. So let's start with this one. This one is by Redkin and it is called their Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. Seeing as my hair looks distressed, <laughs> I thought this would work. Um, I think what you're supposed to do is pump it in your hand probably and work it in your hair. And it's to help with um, hair breakage and with split ends. The next item is this Color Last Orchid Shine Shake for color treated hair. And this is by the brand Matrix Biolage. I'm not really sure how to say that, um, or what they want it to be called. Uh, this is the first time I've actually kind of heard of this brand, um, but it's like this cute little pink bottle you spray, and it's supposed to help like condition your hair as well as make it like shiny. So let's hope it makes it shiny and not greasy. And then the next hair product is by L'Oreal Paris, and it is called their Everpure Sulfate-Free Color Care System. I guess that's the line of products. And this is the 8-in-1 Color Miracle, and it is a color revitalizing treatment for color-treated hair. It's a leave-in spray. I don't even know what this says. Why did I get this? Uh. So there's eight benefits to using this, and it lists them on the back. It protects the color and shields from heat damage and all this yada yada. So let's hope it works out well for my hair. And I believe the last hair care product I got is also by Garnier Fructis. And it is the Damage Eraser Heal and Seal Treatment 60 Second Repair. And this is a Phytokeratin Complex in Kupasu? Kupaku? <laughs> and something butter. Um, and... This is what I write in the directions because I was like, is this like a conditioner or, you know, like a hair cream after you wash your hair? But you actually do have to rinse this product out. What you're supposed to do is use it after your shampoo and conditioner and leave it in for, I guess, 60 seconds and then rinse it out after, which I don't mind because I don't want to put all this crap in my hair. So I can use this and then I can also put in a spray later because I find sprays to be lighter. See, like when a lot of people use hair oils, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know. I guess I'm not good at like evenly distributing it, but I just find it, it gets built up in my hair. I like hair creams more. Like the one I really enjoy is the, is the, oh, it's by Chlorine. That's it. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a hair cream by Chlorine you can find in your drugstore. So yeah, that's that. Kind of went on a tangent there. The next couple items I'll show you are skincare. I got two of these L'Oreal Men Expert Pure Power Targeted Roller. It's for anti-imperfection. 
It says 3D action. <laughs> 3D action soothes skin, dries, and reduces the looks of imperfections. So it's a pimple killer. Um, I got two of them. One is for me, and one is for my boyfriend. I mean, why can't I use men products? Uh, and it's a rollerball, which is interesting. And I think I checked the ingredients, and it does use salicylic acid, which is the one I prefer to use for my acne. Not acne for my pimples and zits and stuff, but yeah. So I guess you just roll on this clear gel, and then it'll make your pimple disappear. Then I saw this other one while I was in checkout. I think someone didn't want it. There's just too many things to look when you're there and I get overwhelmed easily when there's a sale. But this is by Garnier and it is the Pure Control Targeted Pimple Tinted Corrector 2-in-1 Long Lasting Coverage Dry in Action on Imperfections. And this is in the light medium color. Yes, this actually has color so it's supposed to I guess do the same thing as the one for men but it also has a bit of coverage because it has a color yeah it says new acne prone skin what I did notice because I already opened this to kind of look is when you look at this roller it is the exact same roller as the under eye roller like even the color of this thing is the same and the funniest part is that they just have this little sticker on top that says the peer control part because the Garnier part, it's, it's already there. Yeah, it's, I think it's the same packaging. And they're just labeling it differently. I don't know, I found that interesting. Anyway, and then the next item I got is also by Garnier, and it's also part of their Pure line. It is the Garnier Skin Naturals Pure Hydrating Care Long Lasting Shine Control. So this is a, I guess, anti-shine moisturizer that you're supposed to use. It also says that it's good under makeup. So I'm hoping it'll kind of be my all-in-one moisturizer mattifying primer before my makeup. All in one. Let's hope for that. Then the next thing I picked up, because my sister picked up too, and I don't even know anything about it, but it's by Vichy. It is the Norma Derm Dry and Concealing Anti-Imperfection Stick. So it is like a concealer stick, like a really fine concealer stick, but it also has salicylic acid. <laughs> it also has salicylic acid in it. Is it salicylic? Salicylic? Am I saying it wrong? Ah, uh, salicylic acid. So, so it's just a concealer stick, and it also has um, salicylic acid in it. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Salicylic, people. Salicylic. Yeah, so I guess I'll try that. But I find that when your pimple, when you get a pimple, it's already kind of dry. I don't know if I want to dry it out. I don't really know what I'm talking about. And then the next two items I got, I'm trying to get rid of the heavy items because I kept the bag on my lap. But I got two facial cleansers. One is the Garnier Pure Control Acne Cleansing Gel, and it says it helps prevent and fight acne pimples and deeply cleanses and purifies. So it's just a cleansing gel. I like that it wasn't a foaming and it has a pump, so it should be easy to use. And if anything, I would assume this would be good to use with my Clarisonic, hopefully. Um, and it's for acne prone skin. And the other cleanser I got is also by Garnier, and it's Garnier Clean uh, Anti-Shine Cleansing Gel. And this one is really for my boyfriend, because he really likes like charcoal things and it know. says it removes excess oil and mattifies skin okay and then the next couple items I'll show you are nail polishes the first two nail polishes I got are actually just the base gel and the wait no this is the gel primer and this this is the gel glaze so steps one and three. Oh, and this is by L'Oreal extraordinaire and I guess step two is the nail polish which I have none of it in this brand but I love trying um, base coats and top coats, especially if they're from the same brand, because maybe it would work better. But the one that I really liked before, I think, was by Revlon, and then I kind of moved on to the one by Essence Cosmetics. I think it's called Essence Cosmetics, and it's a lot cheaper than the Revlon one, and it works really well, so I've been, I've been sticking with that, but... I don't mind trying new things. Then the next other couple nail polishes I got are by Essie. And I got three because I think they were like buy two, get one free or something. But the first color is called Toggle to the Top. And it's like a red, sparkly, pinkish, sparkly glitter in like a dark red base. <laughs> Was that a good description of it? But yeah, so that's Toggle to the Top by Essie. And then the next nail polish I got is called Hors d'oeuvres, and it's just like a silver glittery with different pieces of like hexagonal um, 
glitter pieces and then like finer glitter. I don't know if I could use this as a top coat or just as a solid nail polish, but we'll see. And then the last nail polish I got is Essie uh, Lux FX, and this is in Jazzy Jubilant. And this is like one of those top coats that has all the glitter bits in it. And this one has the, um, it has like a lavender, silver, and teal combination. And the funny part is the, um, the base of it is kind of like pinkish. So I don't know how that will work when you put it on maybe a lighter color. Would it kind of affect it or if it would still go on clear? I'm not sure, but... Those are the three nail polishes I got. Let's move on to mascaras. So I got four mascaras, it turns out. Uh, the first two are by L'Oreal, and they are the Mega Volume Miss Manga Punky ones. And I think they're called Punky because they're colored. And they did have a few sample tubes there that I opened, and I looked at the color, and it was like, this is quite vibrant. So I wanted to try them on my own lashes. Uh, I got a blue one. I don't know if this says it. Yep, it's called Indigo. So I got the blue one. And then I also got the green one, which is called Green. <laughs> How convenient. I've tried blue mascara before, but I've never tried green. So this is going to be quite interesting. Then the next uh, mascara I got is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Feline. So I guess it's just an extended line of their Million Lashes line, because this is already called Volume Million Lashes. I feel like it used to be called Million Lashes. I don't know, but I remember liking the original one. And now this one is a feline one. I don't really know. I think it's because it's like curved. I, I don't really know it's called feline. And I do hope this is black. Yes, it's black mascara because the green packaging confused me. But yeah, I'm excited to try that. And I'll see if I like it. And then the last mascara I got is by Maybelline. And it is the Define a Lash Lengthening Mascara Waterproof in very black. And it says it has zero clumps, clean definition, and sensuous length. Not just regular length. Sensuous length. And, yeah, I think all the mascaras I got has the rubber bristles, which I prefer more over the classic bristles. And, yeah, I'm excited to find this. I think I've heard someone say they like it. I don't know who. I don't know where. But the final lash just sort of struck a chord in my head. So I had to get it. Um, I got this new... New. Wow. Uh, I got a NYX. A, it's called a Primal Color. And it's in hot black. And I just wanted to try this out. I think it's supposed to be super pigmented. But it's broken. And it's all over me. And it's black. And it's all over my new shirt. And I'm pissed off now. The next couple items I got are all by Lancome. Um, the first item I'll show you is something I'm actually wearing and this is the Lancome Balm and Love Sheer Tinted Lip Balm Moisture and Comfort in Very Cherry and it's very nice and emollient I think is the word. It's just it's so I just had to uh, it's um when you first put it on it's not really pigmented but if you give it a little bit I think the color kind of develops more so it's more pigmented than when you first applied it and it's really nice and I love the packaging of the um like the of the in love in love products like this is called bomb in love I think the lipstick was called rouge in love or something and then the next item I got is also a lipstick it's called the Lapsalu rouge definition or definition I don't know don't ask me um and this is bold colors high precision matte and comfort and this is in the color Lincarnat number 79 and it just looks like this and it's just a very kind of like not I don't want it's like a pinky nude it's very like subtle and not really in your face I have a lot of in your face lip color so this is a nice change for me then the next two items are the Lancome Verne in love uh, so they're Fade resistant gloss shine nail polishes. And I got two of them. The first color is called Tourmaline Noir or Tourmaline Noir. And then the other one is called Gris Rivoli. Who knows? Okay. Let's see. This is Gris Rivoli. It is like a taupey, dusky, mauve kind of gray. More mauve than gray, but mauve? Is it mauve or mauve? I don't know, but. It's like a very neutral kind of nail color. 
Um, and then the other one I got is a black. Yeah, it's a black and it's it's like a really satiny, sheeny kind of black, not like a matte black or anything. It almost kind of looks brown from some angles, so hopefully it goes on black. And then at the checkout, I got two samples, also by this brand I haven't heard of before. It's called Matrix Biolage. Biolage. And these are just fortifying creams, whatever that is. But yeah, and that is all for my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more video videos in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would be much appreciated. Thank you so much and have a good day. So the next item I got is by NYX. Oh my god, I think it's... Oh, it's broken! It broke. It broke all over me. <gasps> oh no. It's all over my new shirt. Wait, you were right.